Hey, so what's going on guys? Me here with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in front of me, I believe this controller is one of the best controllers for the Nintendo Switch. If you have been following the channel, you will know that I bought the Switch recently and I've been having a ton of fun with the games, even though some of them are remastered. But the problem is, I always have hand fatigue when I'm playing for long hours because I have big hands and these controllers are pretty small. So the one I have right here is the yellow version, this is actually the limited edition. They have a couple of limited edition ones. So I bought this off Shopee. So they have a couple of colors. I have the yellow one because the blue one was out of stock that day. Yeah, you can see it's still sold out. And they have a couple of colors like this. I think this is also the limited edition one. So the limited edition one will have this ring right here to tell you this limited edition. So the price is below 250 ringgit. So if you buy it on offer, it can go to around... 180 190 ringgit so it depends on when you buy this but honestly this is a very big upgrade to the original switch controllers all right so let's take a look around the box you can see omelette branding you can see there's limited edition in this yellow pokemon color i should say pikachu color yeah all right so let's take a look this is the switch pro plus joypad controller it has all the functions of the original switch controller and more so you do not need to really plug it in to the USB-C connector which actually comes at the bottom of this controller. You can actually use uh, either their dock, the controller dock, or you can just directly hook it up to your switch. You can connect to your switch and then you can charge from it wirelessly. So just like the original controller. So really good product right here. All right. So let's take a look at the back. You can see the features. So this one has... The basic buttons, you have the screenshot button, you have the home button, you have all the other buttons, you have all the shoulder, triggers, everything. And you have two more programmable buttons right here. So you, you can actually program these two buttons to actually work with other functions of the games. Alright, so you can see tons of features, but the most important is how does it feel in the hand. But I actually did uh, try it out before this video and I felt that it was a massive improvement. Especially if you do use the thumbsticks a lot both the left and right you're going to appreciate this because this has way more travel all right so let's get into the unboxing pretty simple package just need to open this tab and you have to just make sure you don't tear the box slide it out inside you're greeted with another smaller box all right so now that we got the box out of the way let's open this inner box so really nice packaging you can see right here this is the controller itself so it also comes with the center, I don't know what you call it, some kind of a mount where you can actually just hook it on just like the original Switch controllers. They came with this as well. So they're all detachable, of course. Okay, so you come with the controller and you come with also a USB-C cable. So pretty long one as well, which is good. Okay, so that's about it for the unboxing. Let's take a look at the controllers itself. All right, so you can see from here, the controller is so much more ergonomic compared with the one from the Switch. You can see it's flat right here and really, really small. This would be good for games like uh, Nintendo Sports and stuff like that. It would be great. This is a bit more on the regular controller design. So if you're holding it sideways like this, it's not as comfortable. Uh, this will still work with all the, the, what you call that, the strap. It will still work. So yeah. Okay, let me just show you the controller. So you have all your crystal d-pads and stuff like that so everything is really really nice you can see omelette branding you still have the four lights to show you which player you are you can see the buttons here have way more travel way way more travel. of course it's a much bigger unit really really nice you can see there's also like lights back you can see it's actually connected to my switch so this has the auto wake up function that's what they advertise so it works well let's take a look at the back you can see extra buttons so these buttons here are actually to adjust vibration and also the light as well so yeah and these are the quick release buttons for the joy cons so they have lights here as well it's not rgb lights but yeah it's colored lights definitely you have lights in the thumbsticks as well so overall they are clickable okay here everything is very very nice really really nice yeah, okay, so let's slide it off and then compare the size with the original Joy-Cons. Slide this off, you can see. 
this unit right here. Okay, let's take out the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con and compare the size. So you can see really, really nice. So of course, I'll be installing them and showing you guys what's the difference. So you can see these are really small. Um, my hands get really tired after playing for a while. So yeah, you can see the reason why. This look like a toy, super small toy in my hand. Okay, so yeah, you can see everything is almost like the original. Okay, so while C charge, you have all these extra buttons right here. But definitely you can see a substantial increase in the size. So if you guys are using a lot of the original bags that fit the Nintendo Switch, this is definitely not going to fit because I actually tried it. I do have the original bag. So yeah, uh, it depends on how deep you are in with uh, cases and stuff like that. Because this will make the unit look more like an ROG Ally. In fact, so it's a much bigger unit. You can see USB-C charging port. But we usually won't use that because you can actually just charge it off this wireless charging pad thing here. Alright, so you can see substantial difference in the size. Top as well, as you can this one. This is a very small click. This is a much bigger travel, much longer travel. So really, really nice. You can see this actually fits my hand very nicely. Okay, this is for the left side and on the right side. See as well, I forgot to show you this. You can see the travel on these thumbsticks. So much more travel. Feels more like a regular controller. So in terms of tactility, both of them are more or less the same. Of course, the buttons are overall much bigger, even the thumbstick as well. You still have your regular buttons at the bottom. Of course, they did shift it a bit, so they have uh, slightly more functionality. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, slap it on the switch. You can see right here, do the same thing. You just have to slide it in. I'm just trying to do this from behind the camera. Can you hear the click? Got one click. And let's do the other side. Slide it in, click. Basically, that's how it looks. So much bigger. See right here, just the size of the Nintendo Switch. But of course, if you're looking for something more ergonomic, this is definitely the one for you. Okay, so you can see right here, after clicking this button, you click it three times. So now you can see both of them are connected. You can see the lights right here means both of them are paired, so you can see right here. I've already configured the, the thumbsticks, so I've actually calibrated it. So you can do it right here in the settings. I think you guys should already know that. You go down to controllers, and you can actually calibrate. And update those. Of course, you can't update it, but you can calibrate the motion controls and the control stick. So it's good to do that when you change uh, the controllers, I mean the Joy-Cons. So that uh, they work actually much better because they know where the end point is for the thumbsticks. So they are overall, I think, uh, really, really nice. Of course, uh, the reason why they had to give a gap is because if you do dock it in, uh, you definitely need this gap right here so it doesn't like bang into the, the dock itself. Can you stand it up? Yeah, you can actually more or less stand it up, but you don't need that because the switch has a, has a kickstand. You can see right here, you can see USB-C, but they are already charging right now. Yeah, so really, really nice. You can see the lights fading and coming on. I believe this is to indicate that it's like charging almost full or something like that. Uh, I believe so, because when I charged it on the dock last night, it was actually just on to tell me that it's charging. Alright guys, so this has been a pretty quick unboxing and also review on the Omelette Switch Pro Plus Joypad controllers. So I think for the price, they are no-brainer, especially if you have big hands or you do play a lot of games for extended time, these controllers are the way to go. But if you do want portability and also other cases or I mean the original cases to work with the Switch, then this is definitely not the one for you because it's substantially bigger. It's so much bigger that it can't even fit in the case. And they pair actually really seamlessly. When you slot it in, you click it and then the, the Switch just knows that these are actually docked in. So really, really nice, really, really good system. And it works just at audio, as simple as audio. There's no hassle in terms of setup and stuff like that. That's all for this video. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.